Today, let's do a couple of different problems for double digit uh, addition with regrouping. So right now, what I want you to do is the problem, we'll kind of choose a problem like this, five plus four. You're probably saying, Mr. Jeff, that's not double digit addition, that's a single digit. Well, that's correct. First of all, digit, what is a digit? It's zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that's it. Those are single digit numbers. And this is a single digit problem, five plus four. So let's go ahead and do five plus four. You got five. I always like to add the biggest number first. So that's five, and here's our four. I have five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that is nine, okay? So let's move on to a little bit a bigger number, okay? Let's do five plus six. So once again, I am going to add the bigger number first, and five, I like to put dots down. It's kind of, easy, kind of easier for me to add that way. So I have six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So now I have a double digit answer, which is 11. Okay, so let's move this problem over here, and I'm gonna add on another number here. I'm gonna add 15, okay, plus six. Okay, we, we already did five plus six, and we're gonna do five plus six again. Remember, you always add the ones first, then you add the tens, and you regroup if you need to, okay? So remember, six plus five is six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and instead of me putting the 11 right here, I'm gonna put the 11 written like this, okay? You have to carry it over into the tens because the 10 is in the tens place, all right? Now I add the tens. Don't forget to add this one up here. One plus one is two. Awesome. All right, let's move on to another problem, okay? This is fun. I love uh, math. If you make it fun, it's going to be fun, and you can learn a lot by doing it that way. So keep math fun, okay? So let's go 25 plus 18. Hello, kitty. You'll see my cat in the videos. My cat loves to my cat loves doing math. He loves checking out to see what I'm doing. So you'll see him in a lot of my shows. Okay, let's get back to the lesson here. 25 plus 18. Remember, we add the ones first, okay? Now you're like, wow, there's a bunch of numbers here. This is getting a little bit confusing. It's okay, you can take a paper like this and cover it up. Now I have eight plus five. I'll put some dots here for five. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now, 13 is going to look like this, okay? I put the three here, and I take that one, and I put it on top in the tens place, because this is the ones right here, and this is the tens place right there. So I wanna put that one in the tens place, so I put it right here. Now I add the tens place, and if you get confused with all those numbers, you can cover it up like this. Now that is easy. You have three numbers to add right here. So it's one, two, three, four. Don't forget about that number right there. One, two, three, four. So I put my four right below here in the tens place and 25 plus 18 equals 43. All right, you guys are becoming math pros. I love it. Let's do a two more, okay? Okay, let's do a number like this. 36 plus 36. If you want to, you can pause the video right now and do this problem. All right. Okay, let's get right into uh, solving this. First of all, what do I add? Do I add the ones first or the tens first? You're right, we add the ones first. So I can take a scratch piece of paper like this, put it here. Six plus six. Let's move this over here. Six plus six, what is it? Let me do some dots here. I don't have to go like this. I don't have to go one, two, three, four, five, six. No, you already know that's six. Just add on the other number. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, okay? Make sure you visualize your numbers. It makes it a lot easier later on when you're starting to memorize your numbers, if you can visualize them. And I like to visualize numbers using dots. So whatever way you like doing it, 
keep it that way. All right, six plus six is 12. Remember, my answer is gonna be looking like this, 12. I put the two, this, the two right here, remember, that, that's in the ones place, this is in the tens place. Put the two in the ones place. Take the one, put it in the tens place. Put it right on top of there. Don't worry, it's not gonna fall over. Okay, now let's add the tens, okay? Three plus three is, it's a double fact, three plus three is six, plus one more, seven. Seven sent from heaven. There you go. 72. 36 plus 36 equals 72. All right. Let's do another one here. We got one more to do. 45 plus 27. Okay. Go ahead and pause the video and then you can do that problem on your, uh, by yourself. Okay, we unpaused it. All right, let's go do it. Okay, you don't, you guys know what to do, right? Of course you do. Let's go do it. Yep, add the ones. Seven plus five. I'm going to put some dots here. Just love doing the dots. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, you did it. You did it. Carry that one. Carry that one. Four. I'm gonna, now you can do it. You can do four plus two and then the one or four plus one and then the two. I'm gonna do four plus two, a lot easier. Four plus two is six, yeah. Plus one more, seven, yeah. Another seven sent from heaven. Make math fun, you gotta do it. It's gonna make your day awesome. Uh, I hope you enjoyed doing a little bit of double digit uh, addition with some regrouping. Make sure you check out my other math videos on here. I got subtraction, got money, all kinds of cool stuff. And I got some fun drawing videos that you can play at home or during the class. Hi, Kitty. I hope you had a fun day. My cat always has a fun day, too. And like always, you have a fun day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.